guys, it's Thursday. Welcome to PvP. It's just PvP Ow, now. That's There's right. No more Gamer Nation. Just no more Gamer Nation. PvP. On Thursdays, all new Thursdays. It's a show where one of our gamers is pitted against another one of our gamers. I'm just trying to kind yeah. of it, Yeah. Anyways, guys. Uh, you do you it way were, cooler than I do. You guys were really liking uh, the whole PvP format, so we decided to make it its own show and have it here on Thursdays for your entertainment pleasure while we duke it out verbally and mentally. I'm gonna lose every time. Yep, maybe. Pretty much. What's our first matchup, Joe? Uh, our first, uh, the theme for this oh, week yes, is actually gonna be uh, Super Smash Brothers characters we want to see in the Wii U version. And who would kick whose ass I yes. in a, a fight? Yeah. We got some of our picks. We have some of your picks in here. It's all gonna work out beautifully. But let's start with round one. Round one. Fight. All right, going with some nostalgia. So Inky's gonna be defending the characters from Bubble Bobble. Yes. Whereas you, you're going a little more uh, current gen, a little nostalgia. You got a Liquid Snake. Correct. All yeah. right, two characters I know about. So let's hear from the master debaters mm. themselves, starting with Liquid Snake, actually. 30 okay. seconds on the clock. Right. Go. Bubble Bobble, really? Baby dragons? <laughs> what the f are baby dragons gonna do against possibly one of the greatest villains of all time? He's like Solid Snake, except he got, you know, the opposite genes. He's a total badass. Metal Gear Rex? Man, he builds a dude. Well, he didn't. Well, he didn't technically build it, but he's got a giant f***ing robot that f***ing stomps all over the place, and it f***ing, it's a giant, it's basically a giant metal Tyrannosaurus Rex. When he hits that smash ball, you know it's coming down. You know Metal Gear Rex is coming into play. He's Stop. gonna step on the little dragon. Apparently, baby dragons do nothing against mechanized Tyrannosaurus Rex robot. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how you can do with your first argument with 30 seconds. Go. Uh, dra baby dragons do nothing. Have you seen Game of Thrones? She's just like Dracarys, and then boom, and they melt everything. That's number one. Number two, Bubble Bobble. They put in bubbles, and it's rendered useless, no matter what it is. It'd be a giant, impenetrable bubble around that Tyrannosaurus Rex. He'd just be floating up to the top, and then all I have to do is hop on it, and he pops and he goes away. That's what you do. And then they eat a lot of fruit, so you know they, they're getting their proper nutrients for the fight that they, the impending fight with Liquid Snake. So between the impenetrable bubbles and being able to hop on them and pop anything, Stop. I think they'd win the fight. Uh, apparently, kids, if you eat all of your fruits, you can destroy any mechanized dinosaur robot. Yeah. Yes. That's uh, that's actually a true point. I don't know how you're gonna rebuttal against that. Yeah. Especially Game of yeah. Thrones. Uh -huh. <laughs> and 15 second rebuttal, go! There's no way you're putting Metal Gear Rex in one of those tiny bubbles. And f***ing Liquid Snake has friends. He's gonna call in Revolver Ocelot. Ocelot's gonna bust caps all over your little dragons. They're gonna be like, I'm a dragon! And then their brains are gonna explode everywhere, and then they're gonna die. And Liquid stop. Snake, way better. <laughs> Uh, so apparently Ocelot's gonna come in and just, Tag uh, team. Yeah, yeah, just kind of shoot your bubbles down. Yeah. So you're gonna pop your bubble, oh, okay. figuratively and technically. I see, yes. But now you get a rebuttal. Okay. 15 seconds on the clock, go! Well, who's gonna be coming in to help Bubble Bobble? Uh, the other Bubble Bobble Dragon. <laughs> so now there's two of them, and they're blowing super bubbles, and they're capturing everything. Revolver, Ocelot, I don't care who you call in, they're blowing bubbles around them, they're hopping on pop, and they're just gonna pop those bubbles, oh, oh. and they're gonna murder them. Yes, right. Dr. Oh. Seuss reference. All right, guys, we can argue about this all day, but you guys get to choose who won round one by going over to Twitter. Tweet us. At LazerCorn, at the Joven Chair, at Tominky. Like, Let us know who won. And at Smosh like, Games. Uh, at Smosh yeah. Games. Like but I saw PvP at LazerCorn totally won. I saw, you don't even have to think about the I, I saw I just, PvP I at Sohinky totally had a point about the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> time for round two. Round two. Fight. A Certe Rex. The Battletoads, Raymond, and Dr. Robotnik. You can never go wrong with nostalgia, and the game should continue to add new... Franchises. Franchises. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Dr. Robotnik, that's a good one, I think. Uh, you I'm gonna go with Battletoads. I'm oh, taking, you, you would like to... I'm taking DR Robotnik. Okay. Wow. So is Hinky wants name? Dr. Yeah. Robotnik. Uh, who went first last time? Uh, uh, well, he, he I went, I went, I went first, so you'll go first this time. Fair enough. All right, uh, you got uh, the Robotnik... Dr. Robotnik, he didn't go to evil doctor school for nothing. Yeah. So, uh, you got 30 seconds, go! You brought up a good point, he is a doctor, he's very intelligent, and he makes ridiculous robots. Did you play Sonic 2? That robot at the end was so hard. Faulty, yes, because all you had to do was jump on his little capsule to beat him, but it was a very menacing, scary robot. And what is Dr. Robotnik's specialty? It's imprisoning and destroying woodland creatures, and a battle toad is a woodland creature. Yes, it's a genetically enhanced, muscular, strong woodland creature, but a woodland creature nonetheless, they just end up in this little capsule that they, Sonic has to pop at the end of the level, rendering them useless hiding in there like, oh God, help me, get me out of the Stop. capsule, Sonic. <laughs> So Hinky calling the Battletoads useless. Yeah. Useless against the powers of Dr. Robotnik. How dare you? How dare you? 
Respond to that, Jovin. Go! Alright, first of all, Dr. Robotic, he is beaten by a woodland creature all the time who just jumps and spins. I'm bringing three frogs and toads with martial arts abilities into the fight. Think about it, even if your plan is like, you got Pimple, Rash, and Toad. Even if you get one of them, no, Pimple, Rash, and Zits. Even if you get one of them, you have like, your power hits is like your fists become giant. Uh, Pimple, actually when he's running and he attacks, he gets giant horns, cause he's a bullfrog, get it? Uh, if Sonic can take you out, Dr. Robot and his giant body small legs can't beat a frog. Stop. Joven Shire's argument, not very cohesive. Sounds kind of like he's been licking toads. Uh, <laughs> over to Sohinki for his 15 second rebuttal. Go! Um, I think that my argument was so much better than yours that I might just spend this 15 seconds talking about how cool it would be to have all of these characters in the Super Smash franchise. I think that it would be great to have Dr. Robotnik and the Battletoads so you see how badly Dr. Robotnik would actually whoop up on the Battletoads when you're actually playing the game. And stop. Uh, it'd be nice. And uh, so Hinky, very confident in his argument, just kind of rambling there. Yeah. 15 seconds over to Joe and Char. Go! One Dr. Robotnik, three Battle Toads. Well, you don't get Being to play as all three. Well, what, what, you, you had a uh, Pokemon trainer had three different Pokemon. It switch. can be done. It can be done. Or you can just use one guy to just whoop his ass with some good old fashioned martial arts. Martial Time. arts. <laughs> Did you see the Matrix? Martial arts. I have seen the Matrix. Not sure what that has to do with this game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> those, those are, yeah, but he was also able to break the rules of physics because he was in a computer simulation. All right. Well, let us know on Twitter who you thought won that one. We've got one more. Moving on to round three. Battle three. Ready? Go. All right. Our third debate. We have some tweets to read. We have at fade is three four five five three saying this is doubtful, but I think Pac-Man, since Namco Bandai is helping them make the game, I think Pac-Man would be awesome. And then we also have. At Buhori, B-U-H-O-R-I, obviously Bomberman, how cool could it be? Question mark. That is the question we're answering. The answer so is infinitely. I think uh, defending Pac-Man on my right, we have Joe and Shire. And then defending Bomberman on my left, we have Lasercorn. Lasercorn has already gone first once, so we'll be starting with the Joe and Shire. You have 30 seconds, but your phone went to sleep. There it is. Go. Now, first of all, Pac-Man, we've already seen Pac-Man kick major ass in a Tekken game. If he can take on, like, Law and Tiger and... What other characters they have in the Tekken universe, we can definitely have Pac-Man kick some major ass from, uh, who you got, Bomberman? But this time it just needs to be, just needs to be Pac-Man. He doesn't need the whole tree guy helping him up. He can kick major ass on his own. And then when he gets the super ball, special move, the super attack, you'd actually go into the Pac-Man game. You can play all 2D and you got the characters running away from you and you just like move around the maze to eat everyone and then you get a life. Stop. That'd be awesome. I do like the idea of the, the, the smash ball making it go inside the game and him chasing it. Yeah, that, that would be hilarious. Place. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't even have anything mean to say about that. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty awesome idea. We're going to restart the clock. Laser corn, 30 seconds, go. Really, really, you think Pac-Man could take on Super Bomberman? Listen, when there's when someone calls a bomb threat at the airport, that airport f***ing shuts down. If there's some f***ing junky popping pills at the airport, TSA just escorts him into one of those little rooms. There's no way that this f***ing disembodied head could do anything against Bomberman. Bomberman would just be kicking bombs into him, and he'd be like, oh, my only move is to move forward and eat things, so I guess I'll eat this bomb. And then he would explode and die. I don't know if Pac-Man has guts and entrails, but if he went up against Bomberman, we would- Stop. Find out, because he would be all right. strewn all, all right. over the sidewalk. We got it. All over the sidewalk. <laughs> Laser Corn's argument: Bat or uh, <laughs> Batman. Batman. Pac-Man would be mistaking bombs for his normal white dots and exploding and leaving Pac-Man entrails all over the place. Your response, Joe Shire. Go. Pac-Man can eat and digest ghosts. Do you really think a bomb is gonna be more stronger, more strong than the supernatural itself? I, I corrected myself. Pac-Man, he's gonna move too fast. Dude, he's like all over the place, non-stop. Bomberman, he's gonna Stop. kick the ball. That's it. All right. Joe Shire's argument that ghosts are somehow more powerful than bombs. Yeah, bombs, how many people die from bombs? Bombs being a thing that actually exists. How many people die from ghosts? I don't right. know, there's a statistic somewhere. Right, save it, save it right now, and go. What? First of all, he died of just ghosts. There are no ghosts. Those are hallucinations caused by him running around eating pills for the entire f***ing game. That's all that is. Bombs are real. Bombs explode. Bombs kill you. You want to talk about a final smash ball? How about he pumps up the bomb like stop, the N64 stop, version stop, and stop it, just blows up it. everything on the f***ing screen. All right, Liz Bomberman. Liz Corn disqualified for going six seconds over. I'll disqualify you. <laughs> that, that being said, his argument was clearly way better, not biased because he's aiming. There we go. Uh, You're lucky uh, <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for our first episode of PvP. I mean, technically our third episode, but our first with the sweet title cards and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of awesome. 
And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for your input, as always. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter, at Smosh Games, and all of us, respectively, on Twitter, and we will, uh, we will listen to your tweets and argue about them. You cause us to fight so much. <laughs> We were, we were gonna fight. We do yeah. fight a lot, don't we? Yeah, we do. It's not your fault, kids. <laughs> this is something mom and dad. Mom, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that. On that note, get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs>